What's going on, YouTube? It's Anna. It's Monday. It's Monday. A very stupid Monday. I hate Mondays. Mondays are awful. It's either going to be a good Monday or a bad Monday. There's no ever in between. And you know it's either good or bad in the first two hours that you're up. Well, this Monday sucks. This Monday sucks a lot. Um, I got up, got all three dogs going on a walk. Um, if you don't know, I've walked all three dogs before. Um, people are like, you're a crazy dog lady. Let me, let me explain. Two of the dogs are not mine. They're my parental unit's dogs, two golden doodles, um, who are seven and six, or eight and six. Um, and they're usually well behaved. I mean, like, if you came over, they get all excited, you're new, five minutes later, they don't care, you're old news, they're gonna go lay down, be lazy, because that's all they are, they're lazy dogs. Every time I go downstairs, just laying down. Laying, they don't care what's happening, they're lazy, they're mellow and lazy. That's what a good dog is. I like nice, lazy, mellow dogs. So, we're walking, we did a mile and almost a half today, and um, almost on our way home, not even like 500 feet away, a rabbit appears. A mother effing rabbit. A little tiny rabbit. Not even like a full grown rabbit. Like, even if they had caught it, it wouldn't have been a, a scrumptious meal. Like, there was nothing to it. Well, let me, let me back up a little bit. Beginning of our walk, Coda, my dad's dog, Carly, my stepmom's dog, and my dog, Lucy Lou, the German Shepherd, um, it was starting off normal. Then, it got weird. Coda started to pee everywhere. He started to mark his territory and everything. And I have, kept having to drag him with me. And Carly, we're getting around the block. We're about um, 0.72 um, miles in. And a lady appears just walking. Just walking. There's no dog with her or anything. And Carly, out of nowhere, gets aggressive and starts barking at her and lunges at her for no reason. This dog has never done this before. She's never actually like barked or lunged at a person. So I was just like, I'm so sorry. Excuse me, these aren't my dogs. And like, you know, I'm choking them to come walk with me. And then so everything's fine. Coda keeps having these issues. Uh, they're becoming a pain in the ass. I'm wondering why I thought this would be a good idea today. Because all I've been doing is walking my dog, or Loki, the little puppy that was here. All I've been doing so far when I've been walking is walking my dog because my dog's lazy and she's fat and she needs the exercise and even though I start jogging she doesn't want to jog so she trots behind me. Anyway, the whole point is the doodles for some reason today were just out of it. Maybe it's because I haven't been walked in a while. That's because I don't walk them. They're not my dogs. They have their own parents. They should be able to walk them but they're always busy. Anyway, we're coming up and a rabbit appears. Coda is behind me peeing on something. I, my head's turned around to look at him and trying to pull him with me and all of nowhere, all you hear is a single bark and it's Carly and uh, Coda stops peeing automatically. His ears perk up and then they run. Just bolt. And when they bolt, you know who's getting bolted with them? Me. Because I'm the kind of owner that puts the leash around them, the holder thing, I put it around my wrist so I have more control over them. Well, when these dogs bolted out of nowhere, guess who landed fat face, flat face, straight into a cement sidewalk? Me. This person. Right here. Just cemented. Bam. Whole sides bleeding. My legs are cuffed up because I'm in shorts because it's mother effing hot in Texas. My arm is scuffed up. I, and it's not even like I went. I went on my side. They pulled my left arm like this and I went to the left. So my whole left body side hit this hard cracked up cement. But the cement wasn't like even. There was a ledge and then there was a grassy pine cone area and I hit right on that edge. And so, those dogs bolt after some dumbass rabbit when my dog stops, turns around, comes towards me, 
and sits next to me until I am able to get up. And then she helps me get up because I put my hands on her and she doesn't move. And then finally when I'm like arched up off the ground, she stands up and helps me actually get up. Now my dog is an amazing dog. You'll hear me talk about my dog a lot or you'll see a lot of photos of my dog. My dog is spoiled. My dog is my baby. She's my first dog. I saved up money when I worked at a movie theater to get her. And even though I was allergic to her for the first six months, that that's my baby right there. I don't know what I'm going to do when I have to put her down after old age, but that is my baby. And everybody knows it's my baby. My dog has a Facebook page, all right? She has more friends than me on Facebook. I don't know how that's possible, what she does, but that's, that's my baby. She's in dresses. I dress her up. We paint. I even have, hold on, let me, let me get some paintings. We even have, um, we painted together. As you see, here's some of our fabulous artwork when she was a puppy. And, uh, growing up, she, um, has not only saved my life from depression and high school stuff, but, uh, my mom had her heart attack and, uh, I didn't know about it. No one knew about it except for my dog. And my dog saved my mom's life. I mean, that's that's the kind of dog I have. She's a hero. She's spoiled, fat, and lazy. But she's my baby. She's my lovable baby. Anyway, so, whole story short is these doodles ran. I don't care if they were going to get killed or not anymore. I was so pissed. And my dog walked with me back to our house. And... That's it for my workout. I was like, fuck this. No more walking doodles. And I wanted to go yell at my parents for their dogs, but I can't because the sheriff was over here because they were getting shots for his police dog. And I was just like, so I hate these dogs right now. But no, so I'm bruised, beaten, and bandaged, scabbed up. So pissed. I'm so I'm still pissed. I I'm, I'm so pissed that I won't even let them in the house anymore. They're just outside. Well, now they're inside, but downstairs. But when they came up to my room, I was like, "No, we're not friends anymore. Get out!" I slammed the door in front of them. But no, I was so pissed, still pissed, and pissed. God, ugh. you don't understand how frustrating it is to have these old ass dogs. Chase after some dumbass rabbit while the youngest dog, mine, who's five, just comes over and sits next to you. That's my baby right there. I'm making her a cake today. That dog deserves a cake. She's gonna get a little dog cake. But yeah. So, Anna is, uh, bruised. Bruised, beaten, bandaged up. And, um, I'm also gonna be working out again later on today if I, if I feel like it. If I'm not limping. Um, I need to start doing jump roping five, ten minutes a day. It helps you burn more as many calories as you do walking slash jogging thirty minutes. So yeah. We'll see how that goes. I'm gonna start that adventure. Jump roping. See how much weight I can lose for exercise. Anyway, so yeah. Now I'm gonna go and debate what to eat for lunch. Goodbye, YouTube. This has been another fun-filled video of Anna and her shenanigans on exercise with dogs. Next time, we're only taking my dog. Because my dog is a good dog.